friends, it's Chelsea. Welcome to today's video blog and I'm so happy you're here. Today I wanted to give you a process that will help you to connect with your angels, that will allow you to hear, to see and to feel your angels. Now I have been teaching this technique for many years and there are thousands of people from around the world have tried this technique and it works. If you follow this process, you will begin to notice angels in your life. You will begin to connect with them daily. So step number one, understand that angels are always here. They're just on a different frequency. Just like if you're dialing your radio, switching stations, trying different frequencies, looking for that music or that station that you like. And then eventually you will get there. But that action of switching the dial is done through intention. You clearly decide that you want to feel angels. You want to hear angels. You want to see them. So intention, I want to feel angels. I decide that I want to go throughout my day with angels. I want to feel their help. I want to feel their support. I want to feel their presence. You have this dialing up to find the angelic frequency. And once you're there, so that intention will take you to that angelic frequency. So that's step one, clear intention. So then the next thing that you do, you write down on the piece of paper, three areas, feeling, seeing, and hearing and brainstorm. Spend a little bit of time thinking about angels. Now, everything you know about angels, maybe from stories, from biblical stories, from myths, your ideas about angels, write down what do angels represent to you. For example, feeling. How would you feel angels? Maybe you'll have this level of peacefulness. If angels are by your side, you will feel peaceful, you will feel joyful, maybe uplifted. So write down the feelings that you think in your mind. That's what it means to connect with angels, the feelings. So the second reflection writing down is about seeing. Now, what does that mean for you to see an angel, a sign from angels? Now, this could be, of course, feathers, or this could be somebody who looks like an angel, maybe angel wings. Or oh, maybe that's just a color. Whatever sign, whatever visual sign that you can associate with angels, write it all down. Five, six, ten of different visual clues about angels. And finally, the third reflection for you to recognize angels through hearing. What would it take for you to hear angels? What does that mean? It could be just hearing a word, angel. Somebody may say, hey, he's such an angel, and you'll pick up the word angel. Somebody mentioned the word angel. It could be Michael. Michael is your archangel. Again, it could be your reminder about angels. So maybe the sound of the beautiful celestial music, whatever it is, when it comes to sound, what sounds remind you? What words or sentences remind you about angels? So write it down. So now you have a picture of your own idea about angels and angels will work with you. They will never show a sign that you will not recognize. When you're writing all of your reflections, angels are watching you. They're looking at you like, um, so you need feathers to recognize angels. Well, we can arrange that. No problem. Oh, you want to hear the word angel. That's how you will recognize us. So we will bring people who will mention the word angels for you. So once you get this clear picture of how you perceive angels, knowing that angels, you have an intention to work with angels and angels will show you the signs that you chose. You chose these signs to recognize angels. So then you let go. You wake up in the morning, you invite angels. Remember, it's the intention that's going to create miracles for you. So you just say, angels, I would love to invite you to be part of my day today. Thank you for all of your help and assistance. Show me the signs that you are here, that I am on your frequency. And 
show me, guide me, protect me, so you can open your heart and invite angels to be part of your day. And you let go. You're not worrying about angels, you're not stressing out, you're not just trying to concentrate now. Is this a sign from angel? I don't think so. I'm so confused now. Are they here? They're showing me signs. You, you almost forget about it. And what angels will do, they will show up for you in most unexpected ways. Now, this is that magic of life. This is that magic of universal connection. This is your proof that they're higher beings. They're working with you. When you follow that process, you will begin to experience signs from angels. These signs will show up for you automatically. And you might not even notice them in the beginning, but there's the third part of the process. At the end of the day, have this reflection. Sit down and just remember your day from the beginning, from early morning to night, and remember things that just happened. Do this day review and you will notice, okay, oh, that is the sign from angels. And that was the sign from angels. And that was the sign from angels. Once you get on that angelic frequency, angels shower you with signs. There will be no shortage of signs or magic. And I have experienced that. That's how I started my relationship with angels. And angels, I am riding this frequency. And angels are here. They're always supporting me and guiding me. And I'm teaching this so you can do the same thing. Now, if you choose to do it, that's fine. If you don't want to connect with angels, it's, it's okay. But if you have the desire to hear, feel, and see angels, follow this process day after day after day, and you will ride that angelic frequency. You will experience their love and support and connection every day. So here you go, guys. I hope this video helped you. And if you want to share your stories, go ahead, put them in the comments below. Be well, be blessed. You are blessed by angels. And I will chat with you in the next video.